guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting for you to episode 6 of Hey I Camp. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hmm. Oh my god, I'm so cute. I only got two of them this time. And I'll tell you guys, we came Aoyaki. <laughs> oh, nice. Awesome look. Oh. This is their first encounter. Oh, my God. Get something too. Corn soup. Cute. Oh. Not all. That was so fucking cute. Oh my god. So. But they got two streams in one. That's the good thing about it. Because I mean, we're at, we're like halfway done with this thing, show. And I'm expecting, I'm like, we're getting this camp like every single episode, right? No, but we got two. But like to see the back story with Ali and Aki, like, oh my God. Stop. I wasn't ready for that. Like, that was so freaking cute. Like, oh my God, my heart. Why'd you do that? Like, literally, you were just like, mm, we're just going to take this. Just stop. Just start with all the emotions and everything. But oh my God, just to see them. Like, not only in middle school, but then, like, elementary school kids. And that was their really first encounter. I mean, even though it seems like um, them meeting in middle school was their first encounter of seeing and talking to each other. No, when they were kids. And when Aki was getting someone to drink, that's when they first encountered each other. But they just didn't know each other's names. And who would have thought that? years down the road that they would be friends and then they would be in a club together you really never know who whoever you're gonna meet like what you know the future holds for you and them like whether if you you know you become best friends you become in a in a relationship together you maybe get married something you never really know it's just whatever the path is and your road and everything but it was interesting i mean honestly like it looked like from Aki's perspective and the way she was looking at Ali, I'm like, are, are we are we saying that she likes her? Like we're doing some shipping wars up in this. I mean, because like we all know Kirby and Rim belong together. We all know that. <laughs> 
at the end of the day, Kirby and Rin belong together no matter what. Because it's just so freaking cute together. I mean, come on. Rin and Kirby. I mean, Rin, Rin tolerates Kirby no matter what. <laughs> I mean, and then Eshko, like, Kirby, is she, she likes to eat so much, and then, you know, Rin's like, oh my god, will you stop freaking eating the goddamn? <laughs> you know, Rin would be like, you need to eat everything, now we gotta go shopping again. <laughs> because I'll never forget when she had, when they, for the first episode. And when Kirby, like, when she found Kirby, and Kirby was, like, she hadn't eaten everything, and she, like, scared the crap out of her and me. And she gave her food, and when she gave her food, she was a happy girl, but she was, like, I'm gonna eat this, this. <laughs> but no, no, but other than that, I mean, this was a very cute episode. I just love the fact that we got to see a little backstory on these two, because I think when I was watching the show, and I did reactions on the first season, um, the biggest thing that I always really wanted for, like, certain characters was what was their life before Kirby Nadeshko came in. And we're slowly but surely getting to see it in this show. I mean, typically, like, even with the Rin episode, how Rin's schedule of life is. And then I'm hoping, since we've not focused on Ali and Aki, um, what's her face? Who has the dog? I hope we still get a backstory on her because she's literally the only other character who needs a backstory. Maybe they can also give us another backstory on Kirby herself if they really want to, like how she was before she met everybody else. And maybe, because like the biggest thing is, I would like to see Kirby's sister make an appearance. We're six episodes in. We're now at the officially, you know, the halfway point, even though I think from what I remember, it's supposed to be, I think, either 12 or 13 episodes and then the bonus episode that we're getting once the show is done. Um, I would still like her sister, maybe someone else to appear. Maybe someone who's gonna be in season two, like, they can just go ahead and be smart and introduce a character in this show, and then we just don't know if they're gonna be in season two, and then the first episode of season two comes, and then a character from this mini short series comes in, and it's like, oh shit, like, damn, you was in, <laughs> you was in Haya Camp. I mean, that would make so much sense, because the fact is, this is supposed to be something that takes place between season one and season two, from where, in my perspective, I feel like it's going, because... I mean, it would make the most sense to literally have somebody be mentioned in season two. I mean, well, in this, who's going to possibly be in season two? I mean, it's up to them. It's not really truly up to me. I think it would be something that would be nice for them to do in the show. But at the end of the day, it ain't up to me. It's up to the company. And then how far they're into the manga for the series. But yeah. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to to episode six of Hey Camp. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Marshall Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Monday for episode 7. Bye, guys!